Parramatta may have not won a premiership since the dinosaurs walked the earth, but they'll be happy. They have just ended the season of their biggest rival. It was a sold-out Brookie Oval for Pines Park. The Manly Seven returning, well, at least five of them. Josh Schuster, 18th man. Josh Alloway must be up with an injury, something or other. But the Eels, they'll be happy. A lot of people thought that Manly would be get beat able to come together and ambush Parramatta to sold out Four Pines Park, but it wasn't to be the Eels. The scoreline probably flattered Manly a lot more than it did. I know that some points Manly were on top and you thought they were going to run away with it, but it was only because Parramatta couldn't kick their conversions. I think if they kicked them all, they could have scored 50 points tonight, so... They'll have to look at that going forward. Do they want Guthrie to goal kick in the future for when games are close just while Mitchell Moses is out? Shout out to Jacob Arthur. He did his job. He struggled in the first half defensively. Saab and Harper were running mayhem down that side of the field. But, you know, outside of that, he kicked well. He set up a few tries as well. So good on him. Parramatta fans, I wonder if they'll still be booing him. They are pretty ruthless, though. Um, Manly, they would have had to win every game to cement their spot in the finals. Now things get a lot trickier. They have to win every single game to even have a chance, but they do have to have some results go their way. So, unfortunately, it's been the season of hell for Manly. They've had so many injuries, didn't get their best 17 on the park all year. We know Tommy Trevojevic was out long for the season, and we did all have them as premiership contenders, if not top four contenders. Brad Parker's ACL. Josh Jesus had some injury worries. Look, they've bled a f few young guns, but the problem is they're going to be losing Kieran Foran. So, Manly, it's another Tommy Turbo season gone begging. It's another season where they probably came into it thinking they had aspirations to contend for a premiership, but Tommy's body. Tommy's body is the death of that club, so... Do they have to reevaluate? Do they have to put him at centers? But congrats to Parramatta. I think a lot of people expected them to fall off after last week's big win, but they got it right. For once this season, they're able to back it up. Let's see how they finish off the season. They're still in the hunt for that top four, and I do think that they have to get the top four to have any chance of winning the premiership. However, let's see if Parramatta can keep consistency going through to finals.